Talk Radio across the UK. Early breakfast with James Max on Talk Radio. Very good morning to you. It's just gone 5.47. Early breakfast underway with me, James Max, here on Talk Radio. By the way, we're streaming live on YouTube, on Facebook and on Twitter. You can join us there. Just search for Talk Radio and you'll find us. We'd be delighted to have you on board. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll be talking about the UK music industry in just a few moments' time. However, I want to know whether you're happy during lockdown and whether there are things that you can do to boost your health and well-being. Well, joining me now is Dr. Margaret uh, Gabrielle Muller. Um, doctor, good morning to you. Good morning, James. I'm delighted to be with you. Thank you very much indeed. So uh, you've written a book, Your Pet, Your Pill. This is all about, uh, presumably, uh, pets and how good they are for our health and mental well-being, particularly during a lockdown. Exactly. That's very much true because lockdown is a challenging time and pets can be our perfect pill and antidote to combat lockdown. <laughs> Are some pets better than others? <laughs> In the end, all pets are perfect. But there have been studies, for example, where cat owners said that once they own a cat, they are improving their mental health by 87%, which is especially important now during lockdown. In the same time, it's not just the mental health that is improving. Even dogs, especially also, can increase the level of our hormones like our happy hormone, like the dopamine, or the well-being hormone, the endorphins. And it's just within five minutes of stroking your pet. I mean, what better hormone release you can have than just stroking your pet for five minutes? Well, quite. So um, you, you've had quite a lot of uh, animals of your own. I mean, I don't know whether you have all these all at once at the moment. Uh, we've got a list here. Dogs, rabbits, parrots, budges, horses, and a tortoise. Do you have all of these things at the moment? <laughs> yes, I have all of them at the moment. Uh, and actually, they are the beauty and the happiness of my life. They are enriching my life beyond imagination. OK, but yeah, look, I look at these. I, I've got two dogs. Uh, very happy <laughs> with the dogs. Great, great things. Um, cats I can't really deal with. I, I know that everybody loves cats, but I find them just a little bit po-faced. And you're their pet, to be honest. Uh, they own you. Um, what is the point of having a parrot, though? Actually, the point of having a parrot is that you have a real amazing interaction with a parrot because parrots are really attached to humans. They really adopt you like their own person, actually. And once you occupy yourself with a parrot, it is really improving even your cognitive function. It is giving you a, a real ability to process a proper thinking, to retain thoughts, which is even very good for elderly people, by the way. Right. Because they really need to focus on that parrot. And it's just beautiful when they talk back to you and they say nice things to you. And why is it, though, that some people seem not to think that pets do them good? Because I have uh, I grew up in a household that had uh, dogs and cats and animals and, and guinea pigs and things when I was a small child. And as, so as soon as I got a dog, so I got a dog just nearly 13 years ago and, and been a dog owner since then. I, I think they're fantastic. They've allowed me to meet my neighbours. I've become much more friendly with people. We have a social life around them. We do lots of walks. And yeah, of course, they take time and effort to look after. And, and on occasion, they give you concern and worry because because they, they might get ill and you they can't talk to you. But on the other hand, they're, they're tremendous things to have around. Absolutely. And I mean, the benefits of having a pet is certainly outweighing completely, as you say, those negative things like you need to spend time with them, you need to buy their, their food, you, know, you need to take them to the vet if they are sick. Because it is not just that they are improving your mental health, they are reducing your loneliness. A study said that people who have pets they don't feel lonely, more than 90% don't feel lonely anymore. They reduce your social isolation, but also they keep you healthier. For example, dog owners, you mentioned your dogs. That's perfect because dog owners suffer 36% less from cardiovascular diseases than non-dog owners. That is as good a reason as any. Now, if people want to find your book uh, where it's called Your Pet, Your Pill, where do they go? They can get it on Amazon UK. And it has the main book and there is also a workbook coming with it. And the beauty of the book is you have a lot of science. As you said, if somebody is a bit concerned about a pet, you have the science why you should have a pet. But there are beautiful stories to really warm up your heart, especially during lockdown. That's the perfect time to do. And you can sit together with the family also to go through the workbook. So I think this is the perfect time to go through it and really to enrich your life and to really understand 
what the beauty and the enrichment our pets can do for us. They I, change our life for the better. They certainly do, although remembering that all pets, whether it's dogs or otherwise, uh, are pets for life, not just for Christmas. So there we go. Dr. Margit, Gabrielle Muller, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning here on Talk Radio. There we go. You heard it from, you heard it from the doctor. Pets are good for you. It's a great thing, isn't it?